guys, I'm Evan Espet, a streamography player. You're watching Gareth Mason on Walking Tour with G-Man. What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is all about Argentinian rugby and the absolute roller coaster of a ride that they have been on in 2019. Now, we're going to talk about the Jaguars, the international squad, as well as the build-up as they are on the path to not only a Super Rugby Final, the Rugby Championship and the Rugby World Cup. I'm also going to dig into the whole talk about should they even be in the Super Rugby campaign as mentioned by a few fans, by Phil Kurds and all that jazz. So I want to do a little brief about Argentina Rugby. Firstly, this team has been on an absolute great ride at the moment. If we look at the Jaguars, the year that they've had in 2019 has truly been remarkable. They have come such a long way and are a deserving finalist in this year's Super, uh, Super Rugby campaign. Last year, June, they weren't in the greatest place and now I'm going to Argentinian international rugby. They were poor, they were losing unnecessary games and they weren't at their best there's been a lot of talk. I mean, we know Argentinian rugby as pure dark horses in the Rugby World Cup. They're semi-finalists. They have done things that not many teams can do. They've knocked out Ireland on a few occasions. And I mean, they have really been an impressive team. They've got great players from the past. They've got great players right now. They have done a lot in the world of rugby. And um, I'm excited to see their journey as they approach the Championship and the Rugby World Cup. It's truly going to be remarkable. Now, about a month ago, there was a whole controversy talk of the Jaguars joining Super Rugby. Should they even be in it? Because they're fielding an international squad and they've been training them since 2016 up until now. And it's unfair because it's an international squad really going towards the championship and the Rugby World Cup. So Phil Kurt says they don't even deserve to be in this uh, tournament because it's unfair if you look at the provincial sides like the sharks the jaguars like the sharks the crusaders everyone else it's not a full-on international squad now there's many opinions about this for me if i look at the jaguars i don't see it as a big issue um i know a lot of people that i know well think it is um they think it's unfair that they should have broken the team up or they shouldn't even be in there in the first place for me I look at this team and I think they've they've come an absolute long way. Yes, it's an advantage for them to train as one whole. But if we look at teams like the Crusaders, the Hurricanes, I mean, you've got all black squad right there and then in both teams. If we look at the talk of last week, it, this was the all black decide of who could be chosen from a Hurricanes point of view to a Crusaders point of view. You've got quality teams of players within both squads. Crusaders could field an all-black squad if they really wanted to. And if we look at um, the quality within the Hurricanes, they could too. I mean, Artie Sevier, the Barrett brothers, they're truly, truly remarkable, as well as TJ Perinara. I mean, come on, they, that's a great squad. You look at um, Crusaders, you've got Scott Barrett, you've got Rishi Moanga, who has truly been remarkable. Um, Ryan Crotty, I mean, the squad, the Franks, the White Locks, all of them. You've got pretty much international squads, if we have to point it out. And if they had to play as the All Blacks, they'd give any team a run for their money. However, have they trained together? No. Are there an All Black squad at the end of the day? No. So I do understand the frustrations that people are feeling. But for me, I don't see it as a big issue. For that, I, I give the All Blacks a lot of credit for where they have come and how they have, after All Blacks, the, the Jaguars a lot of credit for how far they've come in this tournament. Um, 2016, they weren't really a threat. They were had the odd game where they'll be strong and at home I would always see them as a threat because they're strong. This year, they've been winning away and at home, which has been truly remarkable. They have come a long way. They have trained strongly together. Um, and have done wonderful things. But I think if we look at the Rugby World Cup, they are situated in the... They now can choose players from overseas, and we all know what stars they have there. So that's coming back into play. So I don't think in the World Cup we're actually going to see the specific Jaguar squad as an uh, as a all-on-one international team. I think it's going to be very mixed up. We're going to see overseas players bolt in. They had the same ruling as South Africa. I think it was even stricter, where they couldn't select the overseas players. Whoever played in the Super Rugby played in 
the championship and that's how they worked as well as other international games so yes it's been an advantage it's been a big help for them because they've had players to recruit for the past three to four years and i mean of course is it an advantage hell yes is it going to threaten the world cup well we'll have to wait and see yes it's going to give them a lot of improvement and there will always be a threat but argentina have always been a threat come a world cup they've never been guys who you would absolutely write off because they've knocked out teams in semi-finals quarter-finals well quarter-finals they've played strong rugby in semi-finals they've done a lot in the sport and i think we, we should forget about this whole where they are right now and focus on how to beat them how to play them and the strategies in order to achieve what we want to achieve in the game of rugby full team international team or not this weekend is a massive massive game for argentina or for the jaguars because you're playing against a solid crusader squad yes they're minus in two stars but at the end of the day it's still a magnificent squad and i think if we have to look at the process of where they've come We've got to give them credit. They have done wonders to have reached the final. To, uh, well, firstly, semi-final, which is a first. Then the final is truly, truly remarkable. Had the Hurricanes had won last weekend, it would have been a home final for them, which would have been remarkable. And we could have actually seen them as potential champions. But like I said in the, yesterday's video about the talking points, we can't assume the Crusaders have won already because... Of what the Jaguars have achieved. Yes, last time they played the Crusaders, they didn't win. But this is a final we're talking about now. Anyone's game. You wanted players want it just as much as the others. So they really are on a path to glory. I mean, it's been remarkable. Will they win this weekend? We'll have to wait and see. Will they win the championship? I highly doubt it. Will they win the World, World Rugby World Cup? Hmm, you never know. But um, one thing's for sure, you've got to watch this team out because they have obviously built something special and unique. And for that, I give the coaching staff credit and I give the management credit, both in international side and the Jaguars side, because they've built something special and they've regrouped. It's not been the same old, same old team. I mean, they've, they also haven't had, I mean, Del Guy's not even in the squad. And I mean, he was a, a brilliant player last year. For Argentina, there have been other players that haven't actually been there, so we can't keep on criticizing and make this an excuse. Because if let's say the Jaguars win, they, the, this is going to be the whole talk. It's unfair. It's a it's a, it's an international squad. I think Bulldust. They've come a long way. They've achieved a lot as a team, be it provincial or international. And I think it's 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 a total different ball game where we can't really compare the two international rugby is international rugby super rugby is super rugby you look at that all black squad when they put on that black jersey it is a different ball game you're going to see it with the spring box because it's going to be a total different ball game you will see it for australia because they're playing for the country it's a total different attitude and era of time of when they play so for me is it unfair no i'm actually happy with it understand certain aspects of it where it is because they're training together but that's the way life is we accepted it then we're all talking about it now is only because they're doing well why weren't we talking about this when they first joined this championship that's just my opinion so for me keep the jaguars in it's good practice against argentinian sides and in fact see it as a positive to help develop um, your local boys and everything else in order to play against Argentina when we get to the championship. But overall, to the fans of Argentina, to that squad, both Jaguars and, and um, Argentina in itself, congratulations on the absolute success. You guys have had an absolutely wonderful year. And for that, I give you all the credit in the world. And I wish you everything of the best this weekend. But I'll talk more about that in the prediction video. So make sure you are subscribed because that is going to be a good one. That's going to do it for today's video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new. And I'll see you guys real soon for another video. Predictions is next. Is, is next. So don't go anywhere. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers.
Make sure you subscribe to his channel for all Rapid content. Stay safe and never give up.